So one of the ladies I've been working with to put her into a home, she's been going out looking at property. She's been finding some really good deals. I will just tell you, right listed on the market, she's been finding really good deals. One of the reasons that it's working is simply because she's willing to go out farther from the metro area. She actually doesn't want to be in the metro area. She actually wants to live farther out from the metro area. So what she's finding is some really good deals. Uh, one that I'm probably going to put under contract for her or to sell to her tomorrow. That property is on the market now for $180,000 and she's qualified under our program. So it looks like we are going to negotiate that deal, probably offer 170,000 on it. She's wanting to take it as is, and we can make that work because she's qualified at 200,000. So that gives us a spread on there and she's already qualified at the monthly payment. So we know that's going to work out for her, but that's one of the things you want to keep in mind when you're dealing with house monster buyers, once they come into you, once you screen them, once you get their application, once you look at their credit, once you look at their income, now you can actually go about finding a property that matches their situation. Oh, by the way, they will help you find it as well. Just, just in the example I was just giving you. 